Hello everyone, my name is Ajwad and I am working as a technical artist at Quixel. I wanted to make this quick tutorial to show you the correct workflow for the Megascans Unity Live Link. Please keep an eye on the forum thread for the latest updates. I will leave a link down in the description. Enough talk, let's get started. Here I've created a blank Unity project with HD Render Pipeline, but you can use any render pipeline officially released by Unity. Once you have created your project, please make sure that you're using the latest version of HD Render Pipeline. Otherwise, the live link might not work as expected. Let's jump into the bridge. Here I have downloaded a surface from the Megascans library that I want to import in Unity. I will click on the export button and select Unity from the applications dropdown. Next I would download the plugin. After the download is complete, open the plugin folder and you can drag and drop the plugin in the project view. Or you can go to Assets, Import Package, Custom Package, navigate over to your Megascans library, go to Support, Plugins, Unity, and select the latest version of the plugin. And I will just double click it and click Import. After the live link is imported, the Megascans live link window will automatically open. If it's not open, you can go to Windows, Quixel and click Megascan Importer. It will pop open. I would recommend you to use the metallic workflow since it is widely supported inside Unity and LiveLink utilities also require the metallic workflow to work properly. Make sure you enable the LiveLink checkbox before importing anything and go back to the bridge and click Export. The Unity would not allow me to open its window while it's importing. So we will just wait for it to import the surface. So now it's imported. We can go create a new 3D object sphere and apply the surface to this sphere. Let me bring it a little closer so we can have a look at it. I will also import a 3D asset inside Unity. And voila, your 3D asset is imported. The live link also created a prefab with the correct LOD setup for your project. As you can see here, as I move away from the mesh, the LODs will change. You can play with these settings to adjust them as you like. I will make more tutorials like this in future to show you how to use other features of the live link. Thank you for watching and see you next time.